Yeah, this video is going to show you a little bit what I've been working on lately, past day and a half. Um, I've actually been working on a couple of things. It has to do with the content filter and firewall setup um, and, and some more things, but uh, the majority of it is uh, I, I wanted something set up uh, for my home, home network, because I have a ton of computers running um, and uh, the kids are, you know, I want them to make sure I want to make sure that they're safe and everything so you know I've used a couple products in the past I've used a Starro it's a Linux dis distribution um, we used it at the school district we don't use it any longer but we're now using the new ISA server which is threat management gateway but here I tried a couple of them I tried one that's called untangle and it was pretty nice it was very 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 simple to install and somewhat simple setup too. It, it it was pretty pretty painless, but um. And and for the most part, it's free. But there's a lot of features in there that aren't free, and I didn't know, I didn't realize that until after I installed it, and it was kind of limited to as far as the things I could do. So it worked as a content filter, as a firewall. It worked, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for so I installed IP cop oh actually I want to just go to the site well okay this is this is the IP cop that's set up right now in my basement and um, let me shrink it down a little bit here what I'm going to do is let's just go to system status and it'll show you basically what's running and what's not um, it's it's an older PC. It's a it's running off a P4 hyper-threaded 3 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM, DDR2. Um, nothing else. Oh, I put three NIC cards in there, and I'm only using two. Actually, I I, I put no right now. I, I had three in there, but I took one out. I have two NIC cards. One connected to my ISP, and the other one connected to my internal LAN. And this one does a pretty good job. I I installed a few th options. Um, Plugin called cop filter mainly I installed cop filter for the antivirus and what that's supposed to do is um, scan you know all the HTTP tra traffic that's coming in and whatnot but I turned it off because it seemed like it was it was slowing us down a little bit but I, I can't tell if it was this that was slowing us down or if it was something else maybe the kids were downloading all kinds of junk I don't know so I turned that off so right now nothing with cop filters running I did install two other plugins one called Advanced Proxy, which um, is pretty cool. It, it allows your proxy server, your um, web cache server, to to be pretty configurable here. Um, you know, if you're really interested in, I'm not gonna go through it all, but if you're interested in it, you can go check it out. Um, that, as well as what was it? There was something else I was gonna show you in here. Maybe not. Okay. Um, also, I installed. URL filter, which was my main concern, my main thing. Oh, and this also, um, with the advanced proxy, you can you can uh, authenticate it. Now, I did set up with L I did set it up with LDAP at one time, but I turned it back off because it wasn't what I needed to. But URL filter is the second part of the advanced proxy that I installed, and this is where you can tell it, hey. You know, I don't want porn sites. I want porn sites to be blocked. And I'll give you an example here in a minute. But here you can put a custom blacklist. Let's say um, your your list here isn't blocking it, or for whatever reason, you just want you don't want them to go to uh, myspace.com. Pop it in there. I'm not gonna do that now, but uh, and then you can enable or disable this whole list. Uh, whitelist in case something is blocked that's not supposed to be blocked. Um, Let's see. Da, 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 da. You can see here. There's a, just a ton of stuff you can do, and then uh, I did some custom. Uh, custom. Here's here's where when the site gets blocked, you can either put your own lines and your own messages on the block page, and I uploaded an image, and you'll see it here in a minute. Um, and it just basically says, "Hey, you reached a site that's blocked. You know, contact so and so if you're having problems." And I'll show you here. Let's go to Playboy.com. Now this is what the kids or anybody in my network would see. I uploaded the picture so it just tiled the picture on the background and here's the default messages and then I, I also t told it to display the 
URL that was trying to be accessed, the uh, IP address of the computer, and then, you know, please contact so and so. But, um, so that's kind of cool. That was what I was mainly after. That, along with the web caching. Now, I don't know if there's logs to see. Let me see. Proxy graphs. Basically, what I what I'm what I'm talking about when I say that is, you know, when you go out to pcaddicts.com, you know, the if you go there for the very first time, it may take a few seconds to load because it's got to go out there, download all these images um, onto your computer, and then what happens with the with a proxy server, a, a web caching proxy server, it um, it stores a lot of these images and a lot of this stuff on the server. So it goes out and checks, hey, are these images updated? No. So hey, let's just shoot the images from the proxy server to the computer instead of having to use all that bandwidth up. And that's that's a big thing I was after. Um, I don't know how well this one works, but after reading a lot about it, especially with like the advanced proxy stuff, I, I guess it uh, it does a pretty good job. Percent cached hits, and I, this has only been up, I think this is the average total cached hits percentage. So right now this I think is telling me that so far a total of <clears throat> almost 7% of the traffic, um, web traffic is just coming from cache, which is good because it's only been up for since this morning. It's only been, what, six hours or so? Not even that. So that's good. Now at work we saw a huge, huge increase, but um, that was mainly what I was looking after. And then you can go, definitely you got logs, you know, you can... Um, you can go and see what what sites you know people try to you know the kids try to go to or I try to go to or anybody's tried to go to that was blocked or all the sites if you want to view all the sites that's been going that people have gone to uh, from within your network that'll show every single site in there if you if you configure it properly um, you know there's just there's really a ton of stuff in here and what's cool about this one too the cop filter um, they have a bunch of stuff. Oh, I hope it didn't turn anything back on. Let me see. Just the monitor, which is fine. But yeah, you can, you know, you got Clam AV, Spam Assassin, and it can, it can go through all that traffic that's coming in. And of course, you got your port forwarding, which I have a, a rule set so I can remote into my home computer from work. You can set it up for VPN, um, all kinds of stuff. But anyways, that's kind of what I've been working on today. And today is my birthday, so. Uh, go figure. I should be having a good time out partying. No, anyways. All right. Well, you know, you guys, just to let you all know, we do have a live chat 24 7. There's always people in there. Right now, there's currently 25 people in here. Um, when I start streaming live, it's, uh, it, um, oops. It usually jumps up to about 35, maybe a little bit more. I just did a who is. <laughs> But um, yeah, that's uh, come in and join the chat, and also uh, join up at pcaddicts.com. You can uh, participate participate in the the polls, the shout box, the forums. We got a, a lot of stuff in the forums. Photo gallery, upload your own photos, um, all kinds of stuff. So hope to see you around.